I love this event. Thousands of hand carved pumpkins lighting up the night sky through the end of this month. It's Rise of the Jack O' Lanterns, and you can see these amazing displays. Two locations this year here in LA Descanso Gardens and Santa Anita Park. And Master Carver Thomas Olton is here. He's got all the details. You're going to do a oh, little more carving pleasure. for you. Thomas, welcome back. You were Thank here you. last year. Nice, nice to, to be to here. See you Thank again. you so much. All right, so two locations this year, and this is huge. 5,000 pumpkins we're talking about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 5,000 hand carved jack o' lanterns at each location, many of them just like our friend right here. Um, remember, you must have tickets in advance, of course. We don't sell tickets at the door. And um, yeah, we have lots, thousands of people who come. They really enjoy the friends. Uh, they, they enjoy the event. They bring their friends and their family and their children. And yeah, you can bring so little kids. Fun. You can walk through it. Uh, people like to get dressed up. And oh, absolutely. Wear your costume. It makes it even more fun. I want to take a look at some of the pumpkins from last year because these are pretty incredible. And uh, a lot of celebrities. There we have the cast of the, the Wizard of Oz. I can't believe these are all carved. This is not printed on there. Nope, nope. We, not done with the machine. Absolutely not. Every one of them has been hand carved, hand painted, just like the one that we're going to look at today. And they're all done by artists in our studio. Uh, Right here in California. Some of those lit up. It, it, it is so pretty and so amazing to see. It, it's a really fun event too. All ages, not scary. No, it's not scary, and that's a big thing about our show is is that it is an all ages show. Is that we have something for everyone. We do a lot of popular culture stuff. We do a lot of Halloween stuff. So small children are going to find something they enjoy. Older children will find something they enjoy. Uh, from you know eight to eighty, somebody's going to have something in the show for them. And when you're out there, you hear everybody say, "What was your favorite one? What was your favorite one?" This is my favorite because. It's me. It is you. It is absolutely you. Yeah, we and carved gonna this do, yesterday you're going to you. do a little carving for us. And this was really interesting. Just before we were setting up, you, we were trying to figure out how we could do, best do this to get it on camera. And you said, I'll just carve it with my left hand. <laughs> Are you serious? No, no it's, it's, again, it's something that we practice a lot. Those of us who've been carving pumpkins for years and years, when you're working on a round surface, you just you move around and you learn to adapt a little bit. So for this today, uh, pardon me if I am not as good as I normally might be, but uh, you're going to help me out, so okay. it's going to be fun. I'm checking out the tools here. So yes. what do you like to use? Well, for sure, what we do is we transfer your lovely logo on there by just rubbing the back of it with charcoal, oh. taping it on. Okay and then tracing it, peeling away, and that gives us our image. We have here is a linoleum cutter. You can find this in any craft store. Mm -hmm. uh, it is sharp, so parents are gonna wanna help children with this aspect okay. of it. And this just allows you to trace a line. So what happens is we're gonna go just inside this nine, and now we start to get that knocked out. And what's nice about that is that's gonna give us a little groove to go in with this scraper and start just taking it away right on the edge. And so we're going to start bringing this back to the edge, and we're taking the skin off. Hey, why don't you give this a try? Okay. So what, go what right is inside this tool the nine. That is called a ribbon loop tool. And oh, yeah, you're pulling a you little hard. Look. There you go. There you go. Just keep oh, going gentle. at it. Oh, gentle. Absolutely. Just got to be gentle with it. It's called a ribbon loop tool, and you can get them at any craft store. They're for sculpting clay, but we adapt them for sculpting pumpkins. I'm a little bit faster than you, Thomas. You are just a bit faster. <laughs> I mean, it's true. So yeah, so we have a, uh, most of our pumpkins are carved this way. When you go to the show, you're going to see uh, a few dozens, dozens of these that are out, and uh, they've all been carved exactly this way by our, our artists here. We have dozens and dozens of people who work tirelessly. We replace them all every weekend. So uh, every single weekend that you come look out to that. the show, look at that. You're going to see fresh pumpkins. They're not going to be all rotted and falling to the ground, uh, depending on when you come out. And we're going to take a look at this one lit up. How long did this take to do? Because that's pretty intricate. It took about eight hours. Oh my um, the illustration itself, you start laying it out, you draw it in with a pencil, then you have to go in and ink your illustration, and then you have to actually start physically carving it. It's funny, is I had to draw all of the hair only to cut it away once I'm carving into it because I need those guidelines to know where, you know, all of your beautiful hair is falling on your shoulders and across your face. And so it's kind of frustrating, but you do a whole illustration just to simply cut it away. And that was the thing that struck me. The hair looks so natural, so good. One quick tip for yes, people who are carving pumpkins, uh, maybe this week it's a little early, the weather's a little hot. How do you keep them from turning black and fuzzy? Well, one thing you can do is that you can spray them inside and out with a little bit of bleach-based bathroom cleaner, wipe them down, don't let it pool up inside of it. That's going to kill a lot of the bacteria that causes causes the pumpkin to rot, uh, but mostly you just have to enjoy them while they're around. It's like Halloween itself. Uh, they don't, it doesn't last very long, uh, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. It sure is. Thomas, thanks so much for oh, being here. Oh, it's been here. my All pleasure. Right. More information, Rise of the Jack O' Lanterns, how to get your tickets. Remember, you have to have them in advance. Just go to our website. It's gaycal9.com. You can click a scene on TV. So cool. Thanks. Thank you.